Thank you for joining me for a Ghost Flow Yoga class. We are going to follow 26 and 2 yoga sequence, but add in some optional, keyword optional, sun salutes and posture modifications, variations. Um, if at any point in class something doesn't feel right for your body, remember that you can modify a posture, you can do something else, or you can skip it entirely. Especially with this class, there's parts of it that might get your heart rate up, um, that might be challenging, but we're always um, honoring ourselves, right? Never going to a point of pain, a point where you could cause harm to yourself or someone else. We're gonna start with two rounds of pranayama deep breathing. Come to the middle of your mat with your feet close together, both heels touching nicely. Interlock your chin fingers, cross your thumbs, and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate, meditate, and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. HA, stay on head back, arms forward, elbows touch. Good, inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down, look straight ahead, lift your elbows all the way up, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, look way, way, way back for the wall behind you, arms forward, elbows touch, pointing forward. Inhale, head down, breathe in through your nose down through your throat to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up as you exhale, open your mouth wide like you're fogging up a mirror on the ceiling. Look back, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels. Contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, lock your legs. Exhale, head up, weight stays in the heels, hips a little forward, hip muscles contracting, thigh muscles tight. Inhale, head down as you inhale, suck your stomach in. Depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, head up. Even as you exhale, abdomen in, shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath. Push and squeeze. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far. Breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, legs locked. Stomach in. Keep exhaling. Push, squeeze, elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. Second set, feet together, interlock your fingers, switch the grip. Other thumb, pinky finger on top, bring all of your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth. AJ, stay on head back. Arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down for one, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs. Exhale, head up for six, five, four, three, two. Elbows touch. One. Inhale, head down. Use the full six seconds to inhale. Take in more and more and more air. Exhale, head up. Use the full six seconds to exhale. Synchronize your breath with your body movements, elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down. Exhale, head up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, two more. Exhale. Inhale, head down, last breath. Second set, deepest breath of your life. When your lungs are totally full, surprise yourself. Take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up, take your time. Let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go.
go, be here now, elbows touch, change. <laughs> Excuse me, arms down, Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together, inhale your arms over your head sideways, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, nice tight white knuckle grip, stretch out, and bend right and left, right and left, every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller, and when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility, creating a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, upper body back, touch your biceps to your ears. Push your left hip forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower, petals moving, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. Hips forward, arms back, inhale, big stretch up, and exhale through your nose, slowly bend to the left as you press your hips to the right. So throughout class, we're gonna breathe in and out through the nose. If at any point you find that you're holding your breath, you can't breathe or you have to breathe through your mouth, that's a sign to slow down, do a little bit less. Take a slow inhale through your nose, lengthen your arms, and a slow exhale through your nose, press your hips to the right. Weight in the heels, hips forward, arms back. Push your right hip forward, two hips in line. Left shoulder forward, two shoulders in line. Come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, first back bend of the day. Take a deep breath, full arms, keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. You can give your head a jumble shake, look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butts, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine, back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, and bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, big stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, hold. Hands to the floor, drop your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite worked up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. On a stop, my hands to feet pose. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your caps, your heels, or your heels from under. You can step on all ten fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor. Pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes of a smiling, happy face. Roll forward, lift your hips, pull and stretch. We're gonna come into a half way lift. So on your next inhale, release the grip from the backs of your feet or legs and place your hands on the, either on the floor, on your um, thighs or on your shins. You have a half way lift, back flat. Exhale, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, shoulder width distance and step back into a high plank or tabletop position. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in and lower down halfway. Inhale, come up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, cuddle out your legs and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, come down onto your knees instead. Take a child's pose. Sink your hips down as you reach your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Slowly exhale, fold, relax your head. Inhale, arms to your ears, hands together, reach your eyes, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Second set, feet together. Inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers. Release and next fingers, cross thumbs, switch the grip so other thumb can be fingers on top. Weight in the heels, hips forward, arms back, inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right as you push your hips to the left. Still breathing in and out through your nose. So this is called half moon. Um, it's part of, it can be part of like a moon salute. And then what we float it to is a little bit of a sun salute. So we're both breathing the sun and the moon are opposite natures within the you know first little bit of class. Keep the weight in your heels, inhale, lengthen your arms, lock your arms, exhale, come down, push, push, 
push, change, inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, weight in the heels, inhale, stretch up, exhale, drop to the left as you push your hips to the right. So what we're doing in this class is following the sequence of 26 and two yoga while paying homage to a larger sequence of 84 asanas created by Vikram's teacher, a guy named Vishnu Ghosh, that's, it's called Ghosh Flow. And within Ghosh's 84 asanas, there are sun salutes, moon salutes, right? There's salutes to the gods and goddesses. We'll do some of the postures um, from that 84 sequence, as well as some other fun stuff. Come down, push, 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 change, and he'll come up. Second heart opener, keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. Squeeze the butt, lift your chest, and bring your arms back with your ears. So whole spine back bending, whole front of the body stretching, keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward, and bring arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, inhale to come up, big stretch up, exhale, bend your knees, hold hands to floor, drop your head, go for a walk, move your hips, shake your head, notice what's a little bit more open in the second set, looks still a little tight and tender. Second set, Padastasana, bend your knees halfway, you can grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Really wrap your elbows back in the second set. Try to touch elbows together behind you. Stomach to thighs, chest to knees, face to the shins. Pull on your heels. Roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up. Push your knees back. Pull. Stretch. Try to lock your legs. Good. Change. Inhale. Lengthen into a halfway lift. Starting to flow into our sun salute. Exhale. Bend your knees. Hands to the floor. Step back into your high plank or tabletop. On your next exhale, hug your elbows in. Lower down half leg. Inhale, come up into your back bend. If you're doing up dog, thighs off the floor. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. And we'll hold here for a breath. Slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through the nose. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen back, halfway lift, chest forward. Exhale, bend your knees, hold, relax. Inhale, arms with your ears, hands together, lift up. Exhale, hands down. We're going to do that one more time a little faster. Feet together, arms overhead, palms together. This time, just the thumbs cross. Can you keep your palms together? Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, drop to the right for five, four, three, two, one. Change. Inhale to come up, hips forward, arms back, stretch up, and drop to the left for five, four, three, two, one. Change. Inhale to come up, back bend, keep your eyes open. Relax your head back and go back. Change, inhale to come up, stretch up. Exhale, hold, and right away, grab the backs of your legs or your heels from behind. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Change, inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your high plank and we'll hold here for a moment. If that lowering down motion does not feel right for your body, skip the vinyasa, go straight from your plank or tabletop directly into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, hug your elbows in and lower down. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. Spread your fingers wide through down through all 28 knuckles, the space between your index finger and thumb. Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Slowly exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful. Awkward Utkatasana. Step your right foot to the right about six inches. Hip width distance, insides of your feet parallel. Arms up, parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight. All five fingers together. Thumbs with your index fingers. Reach your arms forward. Pull your abdomen in. Bend your knees. Sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position. Spine straight to begin with. 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only and pull your abdomen in. Start to lean back, lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, lay back, change. Inhale to come up, keep your arms there, push your hips forward, spread your toes wide, pull your abdomen in. Now come up maximum on your tippy tippy toes like a ballerina, stretch up, bend your knees and sit down. Notice if the knees come in or out, point your knees and toes forward, heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, inhale to come up. Last part, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together. Let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body. I'm not going to sit down because of a toe injury, but you can keep sitting all the way down. Squeeze your knees together and forward, thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine perfectly straight from the side. 
looks like you're holding a box. Squeeze your knees, thighs together, and change. Slowly come up, good. Heels down, right foot back, arms down. Beautiful, second set. Step your right foot to the right about six inches, hip width distance. Let's play around with some optional variations in the second set. Hands together at heart center, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. Option to stay here or take left elbow to outer right knee and start to twist. So your thumbs are in the middle, the center line of your sternum, your chest, look up towards the ceiling. Option to stay here or reach your arms apart, right arm up to the ceiling, left hand down towards your heel, bring the hips a little to the left and then left rib cage forward so the arms stack one on top of the other. Good, bring your hands back into prayer. Unwind, other side, take the right elbow to left knee and then really start to twist so your thumbs are in the middle of your chest rather than your left pectoral. Look up towards the ceiling, option to stay here or reach your arms apart, hips a little to the right This on this side, right shoulder forward, left rib cage back, open your chest like a flower pebble moving. Good, hands back together, unwind and change. Inhale to come up, keep your hands together, lift your heels, stretch up and sit down. So normally in the second set, we want to lean, or in the second part, we want to lean back. But here, if you'd like, you can lean forward and it might help you to sit down more. Now bring your arms back, squeeze shoulders together. Imagine you're pressing the palms together, lift your heels, sit down, change, inhale to come up, balance challenge, keep your heels lifted, bring your arms up parallel to the floor, that's your counterbalance. Squeeze your knees together and slowly sit down to a count of 10 in your head. The slower you do, the better you do building lots of strength in the body as you sit down slowly with control. Stop when there's still a gap between your hips and heels. If you have healthy knees, you wanna work on your balance and strength, come up one inch and hold, come up one inch and hold, and change, slowly come up, squeeze knees, thighs together, beautiful, heels down, right foot back, arms down, optional sun salute, inhale, reach your arms up, look up as if you're saluting or greeting the sun, exhale, bend your knees, hold, inhale, lengthen, halfway, Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your high plank. Remember that you can go straight into your tabletop, pardon me, straight into your down dog or child's pose. Otherwise, hug your elbows in, lower down. Inhale your back bend, maybe doing, you know, up dog rather than cobra or cobra rather than up dog. And then exhale, you can lift your hips up for child's pose or pardon me, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. And I do recommend that you, you know, switch it up from time to time, right? Maybe one time you're in plank, one time you're in tabletop, one time you do down dog, one day you do child's pose. Okay, inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift, chest forward, exhale, bend your knees, hold. Inhale, arms of your ears, reach your eyes, lift up. Eagle pose, exhale, swing right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pull your elbows down. Bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring right leg over left leg, right over left, cross twist. Eventually wrap your right foot behind your left half muscle, breathe in and out to your nose. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. Let's do the left side. Swing the left arm under right arm, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pull elbows down. Sit down, stay down there, lift your chest, and bring left leg over right leg. Left over right, cross twist, breathe. Knees a little to the left, upper body to the right, wrists, elbows, knees, and ankles all in one line. Sit down, elbows down, upper body back again. Good, change feet together, arms over your head. Second set, let's try arms and legs at once. Ready? Swing right arm under left arm, right leg over left leg. A little bit more coordination. Push your left hip a little forward to get your two hips in line, right shoulder forward, two shoulders in line, sit a little lower, breathe a little slower, arch your upper body back again. Good, change feet together, arms over your head, left side, here we go, left arm under right arm, left leg over right leg, so under, over, knees a little to the left, upper body to the right, if your foot is coming out, sit down more, if you're losing your balance, upper body back, sit down, lean back, Good, change feet together, inhale your arms over your head, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hold. Inhale, lengthen, making it your own. Exhale, hands to floor, step back, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, into your spine, stretch, hip stretch, either down dog or child's pose. Slow inhale to your nose. Slow exhale to your nose. 
Inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful. Party time. If you want to, cheers, friends. <laughs> So the um, some salutes that we do throughout the standing series are optional. Um, and also, you know, if you have a wrist or a shoulder injury, full sun salutes might not feel good for your wrist or shoulder. So there's also something called a half sun salute. You're welcome to um, try it with me here. We'll do two of them. And if those speak to you, when other folks do a full sun salute, do like two half sun salutes instead. It's a little bit easier on the wrist and shoulder. So I'll show you from the side. You're welcome to join me here. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach your rise, lift. Exhale, arms down. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull. Inhale, reach your rise, lift. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful. So that's a wonderful way to still get range of motion in the body without putting weight on the wrists or shoulders. Balancing series, standing head to knee, Dande Mana, Johnny Shirasana. We're gonna flow head to knee into uh, bow pose. It'll be lots of fun. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, pull your abdomen in, round down and pick up your right foot. All 10 fingers interlocked, webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing leg should be solid. Concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken, you have no knee. You know your left leg is off, no bend, no wobble. Inhale, breathing, slowly gently. Lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your leg is exactly parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. Standing leg locked. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day, elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lock your knee, lock your knee. Change. Arms straight, bend the right leg. Keep the right foot lifted as you lift up. Point your right toes, knees together. Standing bow pulling pose. Bring your right hand up out to the right, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, thumb with your index finger. Bring your left arm up and back, right hip forward, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back. Take your time. Kicking and stretching should be equal, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Kick really hard. Slowly bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Shift your weight to your right leg, big toe points forward, squeeze your right back, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, pull your abdomen in, round down, and pick up your left foot, all 10 fingers interlocked. Can you keep your big toe down on the floor the whole time? Contract inner thigh, outer thigh, Lift your kneecap, squeeze your glutes, and when you're ready, lift your left leg up. Kick your heel forward, flex all five toes back towards your face from the ankle. You're training your Achilles to stretch. If your standing leg is bending a lot, posture hasn't started, think about lifting your hips up until your knee is over your ankle. If both legs lock, then bend elbows down. Notice if the elbows are coming out and the shoulders are lifting up, bring the elbows in, drop the shoulders down, chest down. One day, elbows go below the calf muscle. Change, arms straight, bend the left leg, lift up, point your left toes, knees together. Bring your left hand up, out to the left, Dande Amana Dhanurasana, bow pose, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot. Bring your right arm up and back, bicep with your left hip forward, knees together. Lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously, pick your left leg back and up, take your time. Slowly bring the body down and the leg up. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. From the side, two heels in line, kick back and up. In other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body. Body down more, leg up more. Kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Hmm. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Pull your abdomen in, round down, and pick up your right foot. Concentrate, meditate, don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up. So you're pulling your abdomen in as you flex your toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down, compressing the abdominal wall, rounding the spine, elbows go below calf muscles. 
slowly tuck chin to chest, put your forehead on your knee, and if that's easy, start to let go. One day, knee and head stay together, change, slowly come out, lift up. From here, bow pose, you're gonna point your right toes, knees together, let's do arms and legs at once. Left arm up, right arm back, pick up the inside of your right foot, at the ankle bone, come with your index finger. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. Kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. So in standing head to knee pose, we flexed the kicking foot, we pulled the abdomen in, and we rounded the spine. In standing bow pulling pose, we're pointing the kicking foot, relaxing the abdomen, compressing the spine. And standing head to knee, two shoulders and hips stayed in line. And standing bow, you want the hips in line, but the shoulders slide apart. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly. Kick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Last one, shift your right to your right leg, lock your right leg, lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, ram down, pick up your left foot. My balance is really wonky today. Relax your face, pull your belly in. Flex your toes back, and when you're ready, lift your left leg up, heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock from the side legs, make an L like Linda, bend elbows down, elbows go below calf muscles slowly, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee, and if that's easy, maybe start to let go. One day leg stays lifted. Good, change head up, arms straight, bend the left leg, point your left toes, knees together, let's do arms and legs at once, right arm up and back, left arm back, Arm of your ear, lock your right leg, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. That's all you have to do, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe, in and out through your nose. Try not to collax down, keep the chin and chest lifted as you bring the body down more, leg up more, charge your body forward, try to touch something in front of you, kick a little bit more, body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Good, change slowly, pick yourself up, feet together, arms down. Beautiful, come to the back of your mat, hold in dasana, balancing stick, feet together, inhale, arms overhead, palms together, interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, and lean back. Step your right foot forward, shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up, lock both legs, point your left toes, and when you're ready, come down, like a slow moving seesaw. Arms, body, head, legs, everything, parallel to the floor from the side, Body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot down, right foot back, pull the abdomen in, stretch up. Step your left foot forward, lock both legs, stretch and tilt. Come down without letting the hip open up. So right hip down, slowly body down, chest down, chin forward, lift your leg up, squeeze your palm, stretch, change. Right foot down, left foot back, arms down, take a breath. You're welcome to do a second set of balancing stick, or in the second set, you can keep coming down into what's called split arm. I'll show you from the side. Arms overhead, palms together, only cross your thumbs. Step your right foot forward, lock both legs, stretch, point your left toes, and when you're ready, come down like balancing stick, but then just keep coming down. Once you're past parallel, split your arms up and back, look forward, so stomach to thigh, lift your left big toe all the way up to the ceiling, Body down, leg up, chin forward, stretch, change. Left foot down, right foot back, lean back, step your left foot forward, shift your weight to your left foot, stretch, point your right toes and tilt, other side. So once you're parallel to the floor, keep coming down, but look forward, get the back bend. Bring your arms up and back into a V shape, squeeze shoulders together, open to your chest, chest down, leg up, stretch, change. Right foot down, arms up, Left foot back, optional sun salute. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands before you can step or float back. If you're floating back, land with your elbows bent. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale into your down dog or child's pose. If you're doing down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. If your heels don't naturally touch the floor, you take a wider stance to bring your heels down. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose, generating some body heat. Inhale, look forward. You can step or float forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your right, lift up. Exhale, step your right foot to the right, four feet minimum, big step, arms down parallel to the floor. 
you're welcome to pivot to face the long side of your mat for the separate leg series, starting with standing, separate leg, head to knee, turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, and swan dive forward. I said that on standing separate legs, stretching, Dande Amana Dikapapada, Hashimutanasana. You're welcome to start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Eventually, you can grab the outsides of your feet, bring your heels from underneath. Pull on your heels, pull your weight into your toes, lift your hips up, push your knees back, pull, stretch, lengthen, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Beautiful change, slowly come up, take your time. From here, keep your arms wide, bring your feet in a little bit closer together, and this time, heels in, toes out. So in stretching pose, the toes are in and the heels are out. In this next pose, garland, malasana, the heels are in and the toes are out. So it's an external rotation to hips and pelvis. From here, you're gonna fold forward, hands to floor, bend your knees and start to sit down into our yogi squat. Now, depending on your body proportions, a wider or shorter step might help you out. So for like the width of my pelvis versus femur to knee, a smaller step helps me out, but for a lot of people, taking like a two to three foot step in between your heels will help you get your heels down. If let's say your heels are way off the floor, that's quite normal. You're just gonna hang out here, maybe do this like every day for a minute, at night, and then slowly over time, your heels are going to sink down, working into hip mobility. If the heels are down, hands together at right center, push the elbows out, lift your chest up, drop your shoulders down, let the hips sink down, and if this is easy, point your toes forward so eventually the insides of your feet are parallel. Okay, from here, you're going to put your hands back on the floor, lift your hips, and take a wider step here, bigger step. Turn your toes back forward, toes point forward, bring your arms out to parallel, change, slowly come up, going to triangle trikonasana. Turn your right foot out, take a bigger step, bend your right leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms, elbow in front of the knee, cover your fingertips between your big and second toe, look up, stretch up, reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, sit down more, chest up more, turn, twist, lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straight your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your left leg, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. Elbow in front of the knee, hover your fingertips between your big and second toe, never quite touching the floor. Look up, stretch up, so your, uh, from your ankle to your crown of your head is at a 45 degree angle. Look up, reach your right arm up, sink your right hip down, push your left knee back, invite your left rib cage forward, Turn, twist, lock your right leg, right foot, flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your left leg, left toes in, second set of triangle, a little bit different. Turn your right foot out, keep both legs locked, start to tilt to the right and then come down. Left arm up, right arm down. At first, maybe hand on your knee, your shin, your ankle, eventually hand to the floor in front of your right foot. Look up and stretch up. So rather than having um, the spine with a 45 degree angle here. The spine is at a nice uh, parallel angle to the floor. It's a really great neck stretch for the length and through the neck as you look up. Option to stay here or float a bird of paradise. Bend your right knee, take your right hand in between your legs. See if you can touch your hands together. Then you're gonna walk your feet back together. It's gonna be a wobbly process. Shift your weight to your left foot, pull your abdomen in and start to lift up. And if you can lift up, then start to kick your right foot forward. Eventually lock both legs. Good, and change, bend your right knee. Put your right foot on the floor, right toes point to the right. Take a bigger step, undo the bind, arms at six and 12 o'clock. Straighten your right leg, pull your abdomen in, and change, slowly come up. Right toes in, left toes out, make sure heels are in line. Other side, tilt to the left, and then start to come down. Again, at first, the left hand on the knee, the shin, the ankle, Eventually left fingertips in front of the left foot. Look up and stretch up. Make sure you're not like collapsing your spine down, right? Spine is super long. Arms are active as you look up. Option to stay here, or bird of paradise, bend your left knee, take your left hand in between your legs, reach behind you, touch your hands together. Walk your feet together, shift your weight to your right leg, pull your abdomen in and lift up. If you're lifting all the way up, point your left toes and start to kick forward. This is actually a similar hip and chest opener to our triangle pose. It's just more like standing rather than on two feet. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back. 
Good, bend your left leg, put your left foot down on the floor, left toes point to the left, take a wider step, undo the bind, straighten your left leg, pull your abdomen in and change. Slowly come up, left toes in, head to knee, Johnny Shrasa, arms up, palms together, pivot on your heels to one side of the room. If you're on the long side of your mat, you'll face the back of your mat. Turn your back left toes in, push your left hip forward, squeeze your left glute as you push your left foot forward, stretch up, chin to chest, go down, slow with control. So this is a rounded spine posture. It's a compression posture. Touch your forehead and knee together to squeeze and compress your abdominal wall as you round your spine. Touch your chin to your chest, forehead to knee, stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe, bring your weight into your front foot, right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line, throat choke, eyes open, breathing normal. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change. Imagine you're dragging your forehead up your thigh, your chest, chin to chest, head up last. Beautiful, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels to the other side of the room, uncross your heels, turn your back toes in, move your right hip forward, stretch up, chin to chest, and slowly go down, round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, Chin the chest, abdomen in, touch your forehead and knee together. Stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe. Bring your weight to your front foot. Left hip up, right hip forward. Two hips in line, so full side of your back round. Your abdomen squeezes. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs. Hands together, change slowly. Uncurl, chin the chest, head up, flat. Beautiful, pivot on your heels and then pivot on your heels again. Second side, you can do head to knee or you can try uh, pyramid pose. For pyramid pose, you can bring your hands together behind you, either just holding onto your hands or eventually bringing your hands together in prayer. Now, rather than rounding your spine, we're gonna go down with a flat back. So stretch up, chin away from your chest and fold. Stomach to thigh, chest to knee, one day chin to shin. Once you're down, you're gonna find that it helps with balance to have your weight in your front foot. You can stay here or interlace fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lift your hands up and forward for a shoulder rinse. If your hands are up and forward, bring your hands back down to the lower back, lock both legs, chin away from your chest, change, come up with a flat back, scoop in your chest, push your right foot into the floor as you lift up. Good, pick up your toes, pivot to the other side of the room, I'm gonna face you. So for balance, it'll help to have your foot in your front leg. It'll, for me, it'll help to have your weight in your front foot. Uh, it will also help if your feet are not crisscross, right? You're not on a tightrope. You're on a yoga mat, so use some of the space. Turn your back toes in, chin away from your chest, stretch up, and go down. It will help to have your foot in your front leg. That is a new one. Chin away from your chest, stomach to thigh, chest to knee. Nose to chin, option to stay here or interlace your fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Bring your hands up and forward. Both legs are locked, both heels are on the floor. Hips and shoulders even. If your hands are in the shoulder rinse, bring your hands back to the lower back. Lock both legs, turn away from your chest, change, squeeze your glutes, push your left foot into the floor as you lift up. Beautiful, pivot on your heels. Right foot back, arms down, optional sun salute. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees full. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can step or float back, keep rolling down. Inhale, your cobra or up dog. Exhale, your down dog or child's pose. There's just one more sun salute after this one. Take an inhale to your nose. And then exhale to your nose. Inhale, look forward. You can step or float forward, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, arms down. Beautiful. Come to the middle of your mat for tree pose, Tadasana, flowing to toe stand, Padangusvasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, feel the costume, slowly gently let your right knee drop down and back into a half loaded shape. Never force your body. Right hand up to the center of your chest, and if you can balance left hand. Option one is to stay here. Option two, try like a, a bound lotus. So you're gonna take your right arm out to the right, palm faces the wall behind you, reach behind you and see if you can catch your right big toe with your right hand and we'll play around with this at the end of class two. Option to stay here or bring your hands back together in prayer. 
and fold forward, hands to floor, lean forward, bend your knees, sit down on your heel. Tree pose, pardon me, toe stand, Padangusasana. Walk your hands back, left hand up to the center of your chest, right hand up, if that's easy, start to slide your right foot forward, kick the right foot out, eventually pull it back in. Good, when you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet, or you can lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg, and then push your hips forward to reverse out. Lovely, change, right leg down, shift your weight to your right leg, squeeze your right thigh tight, lift your left leg up, heel to costume, let your left knee drop. You're welcome to bring your left arm out and behind you, maybe catching the foot with the hand. Option to stay here, or you can flow to toe stand. I'm not gonna do this side, but I will walk you through it. Pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you, don't move your eyes, fold forward. Hands to floor, lean forward, lift your heel, bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands back to either sides of your hips. Left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, maybe start to slide your left foot forward, kick your left foot forward, pull the left foot back in. When you're ready, hands to the floor in front of you, lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg, and then push your hips forward to reverse out. And for you, change, left leg down, last sun salute, here we go, inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna hold here. Take a slow inhale through your nose. Slow exhale through your nose. Using the breath to generate body heat, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward, step or float forward, lengthen. Exhale, hold. Inhale, root to rise, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful. Okay, good for you. Give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana. We are on the floor for the rest of class. Go team. Head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Bring your heels together. Let your toes fall open. Arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed. Savasana. Take an inhale to your nose, feel your chest rise. Exhale to your nose, feel your shoulders fall. Breathe in and empty out. So in 26 and two yoga, there's different series, right? Like the spine strengthening series or the balancing series, separate leg series. Same thing with Vishnu Ghosh's 84 asanas. It's just that there's more series. Um, and some of the postures that we do in 26 and two are actually organized different. So for example, like triangle pose, standing, separate leg head to knee are part of the half moon series, right? So you actually do those postures before you do like standing bow pulling pose, which um, is a little confusing to, to think about if you've not done it. But all this to say that um, in this class in particular, we're still following the 26 and two sequence, but we're playing around with some optional variations. Some of the postures in 84 are um, not beginner friendly, maybe not even intermediate friendly. There's literally a series called the leg breaking series. We're not doing that one, um, but we are playing around with different elements of let's say like the Lotus series or the hip opening series. So first set of winter moving pose, we're gonna do like normal. And then second set, we'll do some other fun postures um, that are like really good gateways into deeper hip opening postures in the 84 asanas. First, Pavana Mutasana, winter moving pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin just below the knee, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor without lifting your head. Tuck your chin in a little bit to lengthen the neck spine. and feel so good. Look down the center line of your body and pull. Change, right leg down, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your left shin just below the knee. Pull your knee out to the left, down towards your shoulder. Keep your head on the floor, right calf muscle on the floor, pull and squeeze. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows. 
see each other. Give yourself a big hug for coming to class today. Good for you. Squeeze your knees together and bam. Keep your head on the floor. Look down the center line of your body and hold still. Eventually, or in the future, when the bone joint skeletal system has improved, the whole spine from coccyx to the neck will be flat on the floor. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, we're going to try supine figure four, which is a really great um, entry into the pigeon series in 84 asanas. So bend your legs so your feet are on the floor, keep your left foot on the floor, lift your right foot off the floor, place your right ankle shin on top of your left thigh. So if you look down the center line of your body, your legs make a four. That's why it's called figure four pose. From here, lift your left foot off the floor, start to hug your thighs in towards your abdomen. You can interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, pull down and breathe and release, left foot down, right foot down, other side, lift your left leg up, cross your left ankle shin on top of your right thigh, lift your right foot off the floor, interlace your fingers between your right thigh and pull down. It's a really great um, side seat stretch. It's a great hip opener, uh, good for uh, hip and knee mobility. And it's also really good if you ever have sciatic nerve pain, it stretches out that part of the body. Change, right foot down, left foot down, lift both legs up, happy baby, flex your toes back. See if you can grab the outsides of your feet with your hands and then start to rock back and forth. So as you roll to the left, maybe straightening your left leg and as you roll to the right, maybe straightening your right leg, rolling out the back and then just come back to center, pull and hold. This is also really great if that um, that yoga, yogi squat that we did earlier, the garland malasana pose was not very accessible couldn't have your heels on the floor. This is a really great, great way entry into that posture. It's really the same. You're just on your back rather than on your feet. Change, arms down, eyes open. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your back, skip the sit up, roll off to the side, meet us on your stomach. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Beautiful turn, lie on your abdomen for the spine strengthening series, starting with Cobra Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders so your elbows point up to the ceiling. We're going to flow the spine strengthening series postures back to back to back. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, lock your legs, look up and lift. Stretch your upper body off the floor. So we're starting to strengthen the back muscles, open through the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, lock your legs, push your feet down, squeeze your butt, push your hips down, hands down, look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up. Good, change, slowly lower down. Locust Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your palms to face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you as best you can. One day pinky fingers touch, but hands never overlap. Lock your right leg, point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle. Half of 90, foot comes directly over the top of your head. Lengthen and lift. Change, slowly right leg down. Relax your right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Press your shoulders down, squeeze your left glute, stretch your big toe to the back wall, lift your thigh up, change, left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin in a little bit, mouth on your mat, bring your arms a little closer underneath you, spread your fingers wide, zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward and lift both legs up, come up, everybody come up, you can do it, start a little harder, don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, lift your thighs up, change, slowly lower down. Bring your arms out to the side for full locust, Purna Shalabhasana. So if you think about it so far in Cobra, we lifted the chest. In locust, we lifted the legs. And now in full locust, we're gonna lift arms and legs at once. Zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs. Everything lifts off the floor so nice. Like a 747 taking off just your hip bones on the floor. The rest of your body's in the air. Look up to the ceiling where eyes go, body nose to follow. Lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Beautiful change slowly with control lower down. Dhanurasana floor bow, chin forward. Bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside. Two inches below the toes, thumbs with your index fingers. Squeeze your butt. Point your toes, look up towards the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Very nice. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Looks good. It's the kick that drives the posture. Beautiful bow poses. Roll forward, freeze between your ribs and hips. Hold still. Do the little sips of air in and out through your nose. Bring your knees in, feet out, wrist straight. Look up, kick, 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 kick. Good, change slowly, lower down. Look to your right, left here on your mat. Arms down, palms face the ceiling. Take a slow inhale through your nose. And a slow exhale through your nose. 
When you're ready, lift your head and look to the other side. So within the 84 asanas, um, there's what's called the full series, and they're just more full, like F-U-L-L. There's more full versions of the back bends in the spine strengthening series. And I really like that it's called the full series rather than like the advanced back bend series, right? It's just more spinal compression than in the spine strengthening series. Spine strengthening series is like truly about strengthening the muscles around the back. The full series is like a little bit more about like shoulder mobility, um, spinal mobility. We're still gonna strengthen the back, but just keep that in mind, like in your regular day-to-day -day practice, spine strengthening series, like so good for back strength, full series. We're just kind of playing around a little bit. Ready? Okay, let's start with full cobra. I'm gonna show you from the side. Should have done a set change a little earlier, my bad. So for full cobra, you're gonna start like you would in regular cobra, hands underneath your shoulders. And then from here, you're gonna walk your hands back a few more inches so that your thumbs are in line with your lower ribs and open up your feet so they're about mat width distance. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, look up and lift. This is option one, keep the elbows bent, the hips and feet down. Option two, straighten your arms. Try to keep your hips down and your shoulders out of the ears. Option three, drop your head back. Option four, keep your hips down, push your hands into the floor, squeeze your butt, point your toes, bend your uh, legs, and maybe hands, at, pardon me, your head and your feet touch. Good, bring your feet back down, change, bend the elbows slowly lower down. Lokesh Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you as best you can. Take a moment here to tuck your toes under and think about pressing your toes back so that you feel your body weight shift forward. This is what we're gonna eventually feel like when we go all the way up in locust pose. From here in the second set, if you'd like, keep your toes tucked under, bend your knees, stick your butt up so that your knees touch your fingertips. Keep your left toes tucked under, lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up, feel the weight in your shoulders, option to stay here or straighten your left leg. So now you're really feeling the back bend. Change, left knee down, right knee down. Lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Option to stay here or straighten your right leg so you really feel the weight in your shoulders. You notice I'm talking normally, right? The weight is in the shoulders, not the neck. Change, right knee down, left knee down. Third part, couple options. You can have your mouth down on your mat. Try separating your legs and lifting both legs up. Or if you'd like, you can bring your chin forward again in the third part so that your chin stays forward, throw it on the floor, and you can try kicking all the way up. This is only if you have a healthy neck spine. And change, slowly lower down, so eventually you kick all the way up. Full locus, Pranishalabhasana, bring your chin forward, arms out to the side. So you'll notice that in the spine strengthening series, it's called full locus, right? It's its own full version of locus pose where the chest lifts up as well. So in the full series, this just becomes another fun way to get into that full cobra, but rather than using your arms, in this one, you're gonna like try and lift up, almost like how at the end of full locus, you hear come up a little higher at the end. That's what you're gonna try and do, but you're just gonna try to keep coming up. So for this version of full cobra, if you'd like keep your feet mat with distance and you wanna keep your feet on the floor for as long as possible. Arms out to the side like airplane wings, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes. The idea here is you're gonna lift up and back. Let's try it together. Eventually grab your knees. If you've got a grip on your knees, then bend your legs, eventually hands and feet touch. Change, slowly lower down. So now we're starting to work into that shoulder opening, right? Okay, Dhanurasana, floor bow, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, option to stay here, or walk your hands in so that you grab your feet from the inside, just like standing bow pulling pose, thumbs in between the big and second toe. Squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and kick. Option to stay here or try a shoulder mobility that takes this into full bow. Bend your left elbow out and forward, right elbow out and forward, drop your head back, eventually head and toes touch. To come out of this one, if you're all the way in it, you're gonna release your left foot from your left hand, left hand to floor, look forward, and then release the right foot, right hand, right hand to floor, look forward, and then arms down, hook to your right, lift your on your mat, take a breath. When you're ready, lift your head and look to the other side, right here on your mat. Inhale. And exhale. 
Good for you. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up. The same way that we flowed the spine strengthening and full series back to back to back, same thing would be fixed from series. Come to the top of your mat, open knees and feet, and as you're ready, walk your hands back. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time until one day you sit down between your heels. If you can sit between your heels, put your hands on your feet, right elbow down, left elbow down, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. So in 84 asanas, there's like one set of every posture, and you, you flow them more versus in 26 and 2, right? It's a little bit more beginner friendly because we do two sets and we take breaks in between. But one of the cool things about flowing the postures together is that you start to see a little bit more how they interact. So you're going to notice here in, um, in <laughs> fixed firm that we're doing, right? The feet are apart, we're doing a back bend. Then we're going to go into half tortoise where the knees and feet are together, we're doing a forward fold. Then we're going to go into camel pose, back bend with knees and feet apart. And then we're going to go into rounded spine rabbit with knees and feet together. So you can start to see how both the lower body and upper body fluctuate a little bit between the postures in really complementary ways. Change, put your hands on your feet, push yourself up carefully with control. Come towards the middle of your mat, knees, feet together. This time, hips on your heels, arms overhead, palms together, cross your thumbs, big stretch up and go down. Chin away from your chest, forehead to floor, little fingers to floor. Now, especially if you did all of the spine strengthening series, the full series, and you went back all the way into um, fixed firm, that's an awful lot of back bends, right? So a big part of why we do half tortoise here, uh, like at this moment in the sequence, is to really stretch out the back, the neck, the shoulders, reach your arms forward, the hips, sink your hips down, stretch, stretch, stretch. Change, come on up, chin away from your chest. Lift your hips, stand on your knees. Camel Ustrasana, open your knees, six inches between knees and feet. Put your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Keep your eyes open, start to look up. Lift your nose, lift your chin. One day head drops back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or when you're ready, right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. Push stomach, thighs, hips forward. We'll lift your chest up, drop your head back. And change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up, head up last. Rabbit Sasangasana, knees, feet together. Hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. Chin to chest, stomach in, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip. Lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, suck your stomach in, round your spine. Good, change, hips down first, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last. Very nice, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, letting everything stretch out and realign. So sometimes we do a core strengthening drill here, but I've been noticing that I'm going over time <laughs> frequently. So we're going to skip that today because I'm trying to keep this to a 75 minute class to respect your time. You're welcome to skip the sit ups by rolling off to the side, otherwise legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Really enjoy the stretch. Okay, let's do it again with some fun variations in the second set. Fixed firm. This time, start knees, feet together, open your feet, and see if you can sit down between your heels. Knees can separate if that helps you sit down lower. Put your palms on your soles, right elbow, left elbow, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, stretching out the neck spine, arms over your head, grab your elbows. So for those of you with like healthy knees, healthy quadricep muscles, you go into this posture frequently, there's a way to stretch the knees and quads even more. Squeeze your butt and lift your hips up. So knees stay down, but the hips lift up. Slowly lower down. Let's do that two more times. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep the knees down, slowly lower down. Last time, squeeze your tush and lift your pelvis. Good, hips down and change. Hands to feet, press yourself up. Very nice, come to the middle of your mat, half tortoise. Or if you'd like in the second set, you can do a wide-legged child's pose, a little bit more restorative. So feet together, knees open up, hands to floor, walk your arms forward as you sink your hips down. So in half tortoise, the knees and feet are together and the palms are together. 
so that it's a little bit of a different shoulder rotation, really active arms in um, child's pose, especially wide-legged child's pose. The knees are apart, so it's more of a hip opener, inner thigh stretch. Um, and the palms face the floor, so the arms can be a little bit more passive. Reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. And change. Put your hands on the floor, press yourself up, lift your hips, stand on your knees for camel. Now, second set, you can do full camel the same way that we did like full, um, full cobra, full bow pose. This is the full version of camel. So open your knees eight to 10 inches between your knees, have your big toes touching. Now on second set, you can do camel or we can try some fun warm ups to get into full camel. So start with your hands at heart center. You're gonna look up towards the ceiling and lift your right arm like you're trying to high five the ceiling. Good, pull your right hand back in, lift your left arm, try to high five the ceiling, pull your hand back in and then both hands up, raise the roof like it's the 90s, pull your hands back in. Next, we're gonna try and play patty cakes with the back wall. So drop your head back all the way, reach your right arm up and now back like you're trying to high five the back wall, pull it back in left hand back and up, both hands back. So it's like patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. And when you're ready, you're just gonna drop all the way back. And eventually hands to floor and eventually bend the elbows head to toe. So one of the things with the full series, whether it's like full bow, full camel, full uh, cobra, they're all going to like head and feet touching eventually. That's where you really get into shoulder mobility and spinal compression. If you are doing regular camel, put your hands on your back, change. If you are in full camel, lock your arms. So lift your chest, hands together, squeeze your butt and change. Okay, beautiful. Come knees, feet together, hips on your heels, sit down. You can do a second set of rabbit or you can join me for a fun series on our back that's like shoulder stand, plow pose, some, some fun stuff like that. So if you wanna join me there, you're gonna lie down in a space where you have enough room behind you so that your feet can lift up and over. Okay, the idea here, hands on the floor, below your, pardon me, walk, hands on the floor, I'm <laughs> getting ahead of myself, arms down, palms face the floor, bring your arms underneath you, palms face the floor, bend your knees, feet on the floor, lift your feet up, and you're just gonna start to rock back and forth. So every time you wanna lift your hips up, press the palms and shoulders down, and when you feel like you've got a good one, you're just going to keep going wee, and see if you can, that's a technical term, wee, see if you can touch your feet to the floor on the other side of your head. Now, if your feet can touch the floor, this is called plow pose. You can move it to, into what's called um, ear pressure pose. If your feet are on the floor, then bend your uh, legs, bend your knees so that eventually your knees would like put pressure on your ears. That's why it's called ear pressure pose. If your feet are still on the floor and you're feeling stable, See if you can grab your heels with your hands and pull down. And now it's an awful lot like rabbit pose just on your neck and shoulders rather than your shins. If you have a grip on your heels, bring your hands back down to the floor and then bend your arms so that your hands are on your lower back for support. So elbows are bent, hands are on lower back. If the knees are bent, straighten your legs. And if you'd like, keep your chin to your chest. And we're gonna go into shoulder stand. Lift your feet up towards the ceiling Move your hips forward, squeeze your butt, lock your legs, point your toes, chin to chest, shoulder stand. If you're in shoulder stand, we're gonna go back into plow pose. So bring the feet back over the head, feet to floor, hands back down to the floor, palms to floor, and slowly unwind. Press your palms, shoulders down, legs long. Ooh, and if you'd like a counter stretch, we can go into fish pose with your arms straight, hands underneath you bend your elbows and drop your head back. So um, after like all of that forward folding, neck compression, right? We're doing this um, little back bend here, fish pose. Good, when you're ready, chin to chest, unwind, arms out, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, letting everything stretch out and realign. Whew. We're actually doing good on time today. You love to see it. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. 
Okay, head to knee with stretching and spine twist. First set normal. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down. Left elbow down, left shoulder down, roll into the left. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg all the way in, big stretch up. Turn to your left, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. If it's easy for you to touch your forehead to your knee with a bent leg, keep going, see if you can straighten your leg, walk your leg, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in, right elbow down, right shoulder down, two shoulders in line. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down, let your spine realign and sit up. Hashimotanasana stretching, showing you from the side. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with peace sign fingers. Thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left. So in head to knee pose, we rounded the spine and compressed the abdomen. In stretching pose, you wanna flatten out your spine to stretch your abdomen. Knees can stay bent, if it helps you keep a flat back. If your legs are straight, stick your butt out a little bit, lock your legs, pop up your chest and fold. Stomach to thighs, fold, chest to knees stretch. One day toes and head touch. Good, change, stay seated. We're gonna go into our spine twist. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to left knee corner. Can also have your left leg long. Right arm close behind you like a second spine, left arm up and over, grab your left knee with your left hand, hand, heel and knee, all touch in one spot. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, pull your abdomen in, look over your right shoulder and twist. Notice if you're leaning back or to one side, evenly distribute your body weight on both sit bones. And if you can balance here comfortably, reach your right hand behind you, catch your left thigh with your right hand for a half bind. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, swap out your legs. You can have your right leg long or bend the right leg, left heel to right knee. Left arm behind you, right arm up, draw a circle over, push your elbow into your knee, try to grab your right knee with your right hand, making that shoulder rotation. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look over, left shoulder twist. You can keep your left hand behind you for balance or reach behind you, catch your right thigh with your left hand for a half bind. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, change, unwind, turn around, svasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. Okay, let's do it again. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat top. So in our version of seated head to knee pose, it's really about squeezing the core and rounding the back, but there's other styles um, of yoga, other types of head to knee poses that are more about stretching one side, kind of like our half moon. So second set, if you'd like, bring your right leg out a little wider, place your right hand either inside or outside of your right leg. Flex your toes back and reach your left arm long overhead. And this is a really great stretch to get to um, the lower back and the left side ribs. Um, a lot of styles of yoga do this posture like in place of doing half moon, right? But because we do half moon at the beginning of class, we work more on compression. But in this one, the chest is open. Option to stay here or keep coming down and eventually catch your foot with one or both hands. Right rib cage forward, left rib cage back. Open your chest like a flower petal blooming. Good, change, slowly come up, left leg out, right leg in. So you can have your leg wider than 90 degrees so the hips are opening. Flex your toes back, reach your right arm long overhead, sink the right shoulder down, look forward. So notice if the shoulder is starting to come down, right, you wanna open through the chest. Option to stay here or keep coming down. Try to keep your right sit bone down as you catch your left foot with one or both hands. Good, and release, come on up, keep your left leg long. This time, kick your right leg out, flex your toes back, stick your butt out a little bit, put your hands on the floor and start to walk forward. Rather than rounding your spine, arch your spine. Slowly over time, forearms to floor or even chest to floor one day. It's a great inner thigh stretch. Roll the shoulders back and down, move your chest forward. Good, and change, put your hands on the floor, walk yourself up, spine twist three options. Option one, sit crisscross applesauce. Option two, straighten your left leg, put your right foot on top of your left thigh for half lotus. Option three, lotus pose, take your left foot on top of your right thigh. From here, right hand close behind you like a second spine, reach your left arm up and place left hand on right knee. Inhale, stretch up. 
Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. If you're in half lotus or lotus pose, see if you can reach your right hand behind you and catch your right big toe with your right hand, just like we did in our version of tree pose. Um, so when, whether or not you realize that when you do tree pose in the standing series, you are preparing your body to sit down in lotus pose one day. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, look back, twist, twist, twist. Good, unwind. If you're in lotus pose, stay here in pretty much every version of yoga that does lotus pose, which is all of them, the left foot is on top. If you're in half lotus, let's work on uh, rotating the hips and knees. So straighten your right leg, put your left foot on top of your right thigh. And if you're sitting crisscross applesauce, do the weirdest thing in the world, which is to sit opposite crisscross applesauce. Okay, take your left hand behind you, reach your right arm up, place right hand on left knee, inhale, stretch up, exhale, look over left shoulder twist. Uh, you can stay here or reach your left hand behind you, try to catch your left big toe with your left hand for a bind. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Good, and unwind. And if you're in lotus pose, try bound lotus. Take your right hand behind you, catch right big toe with right hand, left hand behind you, catch left big toe with left hand. And all of the tree pose action in 26 and two, all of the, um, the spine twist at the end where we try to catch the thigh with the hand, all of that goes towards our bound lotus eventually. Change, unwind, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. So it's one of the things that I love about um, 26 and two yoga is it's both beginner friendly, but also it kind of like sets you up, it gives you all of the elements of um, more like advanced postures, just in more palatable, like small movements. Um, the other thing that I'll say is like 26 and two yoga, I love because I really believe that um, all of the motions that we do are in service to like having a good life, right? Like, can you stand up in the morning? Um, can you like walk upstairs with, you know, with ease, things like that. Versus Vishnu Gosha's 84 asanas um, are really about like an intense yogic lifestyle where like some of the stuff like you really have to devote yourself to yoga um, in order to be able to do like handstand scorpion or like the leg breaking series. Um, the older I get, the more I like really don't care about that stuff. I think it's it's cool to be a yogi, but um, what I love about 26 and 2 yoga is that it's all about like quality of life. Like we we do the postures so that like the, the rest of our day goes a little bit more smoothly. Um, and in that way, like I don't necessarily believe that you need to be able to do shoulder stand to have like a good quality of life. Um, but I do think that like simple movements, like can you touch your fingers to your toes? Can you touch your head to your knee? Can you twist your spine? Can you look up and back, right? Like those are things that help us have a good quality of life. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Okay. And there's some people that would disagree and say that like shoulder stand is one of the most important postures in all of yoga. So keep that in mind too. My opinions are my own. Come to the middle of your mat for Kapalbhati. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times. Concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. So what we call Kapalbhati breathing in Bikram's 26 and two sequence, other styles of yoga would probably call it like the streak of breathing. Kapalbhati breathing in other sequence styles of yoga is through the nose. So if you'd like in the second set, you can try the same motion of pulling the abdomen in, but you're gonna exhale through your nose forcefully rather than through your mouth. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, lubricate your throat, sit up tall, inhale through your nose, and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself. Give yourself a hug. High five, pat on the back, turn around, relax. Final savasana. Close your eyes, open your arms and legs. And take a nice slow breath. Good for you for coming to class tonight. 
especially this class I find to be joyful, but like it takes a little bit out of us, right? Or at least it takes a little bit out of me. My arms are often sore the next morning. So when it is time to get up, make sure that you're like putting good stuff in your body, like lots of water, food that nourishes you, not just nourishes you and your body, but nourishes you and like your heart and your soul, right? Get lots of rest, be good to yourself, not just good to yourself physically, but good to yourself mentally. Say nice things to yourself, right? Surround yourself with loving people. Take a slow inhale through your nose, feel your chest rise. Slow exhale through your nose, feel your chest fall. Breathe in, breathe out. Be very careful what you tell yourself. Your thoughts are your prayers and the universe only knows how to say yes.